Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards love reading for July 2020. This is for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I thank you all so much for watching the readings, liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate that. And I love doing these readings for you, so we'll continue to do just that. And if you're new here and you'd love to join our community, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll be part of it. If you like notifications, you can tap the bell. If you don't like notifications, you can just check back every week. I do at least one, a weekly reading, but I also do this love reading and um, a couple other a um, little bit more in-depth readings. So let's get the guidance here for Aries and love, please. Aries, sun, moon, rising in Venus. This is for Aries. Guidance please for Aries. All right, so here we go, guys. We'll pull three cards for you, three cards for them, and then your guidance in the situation. All right, so your three cards, you have the moon, the sun. Wow, very interesting. And the Ten of Wands. They have the King of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and interesting, they've got two Sevens here, um, the Seven of Cups as well. Your guidance is the Ace of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the World. Okay, so you have definitely have indications of new cycles beginning, and it does feel like, um, you know, if, if for those of you that it's a new relationship, it's taking on a more mature feeling here than maybe some of your past relationships. But you have Pisces here, you have Leo here, you have fire, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you do have water. Um, again, so you've got Pisces there, but also Cancer, Scorpio. Um, and then we'll take um, we'll take an archetype too, an archetype card, because the um, the major arcana in the tarot are represented by archetypes, and that's what these cards are. So they just kind of give an extra layer of understanding to your current position, their current position. So you don't see this very often. You have um, the sun and the moon together. I'm going to just put down this ten of wands, but we'll get back to it in a minute. And I only do that because it's hard to hold. I've thought about using those card holders. Wouldn't that be funny? But um, not really, so I won't. Anyway, um, you have you have the moon here, and it's definitely feels like maybe in the past you you possibly caught somebody doing something, or you were not seeing a relationship as it was, and it really caused you to lose your sense of self. It really put you on a difficult spiritual journey, but it's resulted in really getting some awareness. Okay. Um, you know, for some of you too, it's possible that you've got some hidden feelings for somebody and you might even say, no, I do not. But it, it's in the moon card, that's going to be tough to hide with the sun right next to it. Um, and be aware too, I mean, these come in order in the tarot. So to have them come out together is significant. There's a significant transition coming on for you, Aries, and it, it's going to be wonderful. Um, so, because there's 78 cards here, okay, I clear the cards, I shuffle them like mad that you don't see that, but I do kind of a Las Vegas style shuffling off camera. And so to have these two show up together is important. So it's it really is going from a place of confusion, loss, um, you know, even some maybe some self-delusional kinds of things or wanting to talk yourself into something or out of something to complete enlightenment, okay? And you've got it again with the world too. Um, it really is beautiful. It's success and freedom. So when you have the sun here, nothing hides in the sun. And the moon is basically a mirror to the sun anyway. So uh, the moon is just reflecting the sun. And so the sun has brings a wonderful, powerful energy. Um, the moon is also about closing out cycles, if I didn't mention that. So you have that twice. You have that with you actually have it three times with the world too, but with this, the moon and the 10 of wands, for those of you that have struggled in the area of love or have felt some sadness, some heartache, that cycle's concluding. 
all right? So if you're drawing in somebody new, that could very well be, or if you've been in a relationship, it's things are improving either way. So I will tell you as we go on here, is it in the cards? I'm gonna tell you yes as I look at this, but you're transitioning into this, and this is truly a time of achievement, of success, of, um, you know, open-heartedness, you know, and the thing is with this too, when we, you know, when we look at, I talk about this a lot, when we have fire in readings, we need that watery energy because without water, if we just have fire, we have a drought. We need that to balance it out. And so there's definitely balance here, but this is growth, okay? It's a yes card. It is absolutely feeling great about yourself and really seeing things, I feel like, with such clarity and wisdom and strength. Um, but there's, like I said, there's victory here. So your light attribute here, you got the thief, okay? I feel like you're going to be, I don't know, stealing somebody's heart or something. Your light, the light attribute is sheds light on potential wealth within you that can never be stolen. So see how he opens up his coat and he's got that heart on the inside. So it's really knowing yourself. And when you know yourself, you know the universe. The shadow attribute can be about stealing ideas. It can be about stealing affection, others' power, um, or even thinking that you lack in some way. So for you, that's those are the things to be careful of. And it I do think it's what what they're telling you here is just being careful not to overshadow somebody in a relationship and dominate them to the point where they're they're kind of on a lower plane or they're not they're not leveled up. You know, don't consistently do that or they'll become who you treat them to be, right? So this person um that you're dealing with, they certainly could be a fire sign, feels that way, another fire sign. But they, you know what, they've been working on themselves. They have been, and it feels like almost like they've been doing a lot of different things, whether it's nutrition, exercise, very focused on improvement, self-improvement, reading books, going to a therapist even, um, yoga practice, meditation. It's like they've really run the gamut in trying to improve things, trying to improve themselves. So if it's a current relationship, you may say, yep, that is true. Or if it's somebody new, they've not been out, you know, roaming around on Tinder trying to find people. That's not been their focus. How can I hurry up and find somebody to replace this relationship? This is a person who's confident, they're secure, they're uplifting, and they're very, very intelligent. Um, they are, especially with this King of Wands, you know, there's a spark here. There's a, a very intellectual and creative spark here. And they're not afraid to talk, to speak up. They're not afraid to tell you how they feel. Um, there's definitely this feeling of what's next. You know, they're kind of waiting and wondering what's going to happen with Aries. Is this going to be something that, you know, I, I, what else could I do? I get that too. Like somebody saying, what else can I do here? Like they're really... They're really very thoughtful in their approach and how they want to approach you and wanting to not screw this up, I guess is what I'm getting. So, um, you know, for whoever this is, they're somebody stable. I mean, they're they're able to really, like I said, have, they've got a lot of charisma and they attract a lot of attention, yes. Um, but they're they're just very magnetic. They attract a lot of people. But I also feel like they believe in you. So if you're doing some kind of new endeavor, like if it's business related or something like that, they're gonna be a huge supporter of that. Um, so their attributes, and this goes along great with the King of Wands, are that they've got the father card as their ar archetype. The light attributes are a talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a tribal unit. So like I said, they're they 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 spark new ideas in you. They spark passion in you. They are really a cheerleader for you. Um, the only, you know, the downside to this can be controlling. Okay, so the kind of the same thing with you, where there can be a bit of an imbalance in power. So there's going to need to be a blending there. But your overall guidance is beautiful. You know, with the Ace of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the World. 
um, you know, this is, this is a long lasting unconditional love. There's real love here. And with the world there, this brings a maturity. So yes, it's victory and success. She's the dancer in the tarot, but in, she's also the final major arcana card. And so she is actually the soul ascended. Okay. It's a fully developed soul here. So I feel like you have, it's like an old soul connection. If it's somebody new, you may feel like you've known this person forever and you may have a familiarity right off the bat where it feels like you've been together before because there is a connection here, a past connection. Um, now, this person is going to be very proud to be with you. Um, they find you very attractive. They do. They could just look at you forever and they're not afraid to say it. You know, they're, it's like this is a gift from the universe. It's a gift from the gods, whatever you want to call it. But with both of these cards, it's like being given a gift and being sent uh, something that you've wanted for a long time. It, it really is. It's a conclusion of a cycle for those of you that have been single for a long time. And the new cycle is about abundance. It's about emotional satisfaction. And it's about uh, just a mutual adoration. That's what I get. Like, it's very reciprocal. It's very, very, um, you know, there's this blending. I keep talking about that because it's important. So when you see this, it really is about having the world at your fingertips and um, achieving everything you've desired. I mean, it's in love. It's a, of course, it's a, is it in the cards? Yes. Um, it's a new phase for you. And this also could be, you know, it could even involve travel for some of you. And I know that's kind of a dicey topic right now, but it, it's going to involve long-term plans. And, and it, it certainly could be about seeing the world together, creating a world together. Um, so beautiful reading for you. And I uh, will pull a whispers of love. This is an Oracle card for attracting more love in your life romance lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection so this again the way that they the card is pictured too it's like these two dancing and just kind of sweeping each other off one another's feet it's that kind of romance you're gonna have to be open to it though because there's sort of this feeling a little bit of an undercurrent of not being completely maybe completely open so get open to it because there's energy here for a real love and it's um it's beautiful. So I love you so much, Aries, and I see that good things will come to pass for you, and I'll be back again soon.